Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today we're going to be playing with the Oh What What Fun Card Kit of the Month for October 2022 from Spellbinders. And I shared all the stuff that's in this cool card kit, plus a couple of extra add-ons like the sticker add-on. This one was a sticker one and... I know one of the ephemera packs, I will list everything down below in the description for you guys for, um, I think maybe it was a sentiments, I don't remember, there was something, I know that there was a couple of different add-ons and I do apologize for not remembering exactly what's what, been a little busy and trying to get caught up after Hurricane Ian decided to slow me down by knocking out my power. So anyway, um, this is the card kit of the month, and we're going to be making a couple of cool cards with that. Um, got some nice, pretty, bright, vibrant papers. I love this red. That is just so, so, so pretty. So I think what I'm going to do first, just because... I love the dies. I always love the dies. I don't do as much as I should with the ephemera, although the ephemera is awesome too. So I'm probably going to do a couple of cards with that. But first thing first, I want to use the dies to show you guys how to assemble these. Now these are some fairly easy, but I always like to show you how to use the dies that are in the set because I know that sometimes it can be a little bit tricky depending on the die set. So as usual, I cut out more than I really need. I've got a lot of trees because I think I'm going to layer them up a little bit so that they are, you know, pretty much thicker. But before I get started on the tree, because as I kind of have an idea what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and put together Santa. So for this one, first off, we've got this piece, this piece here, which cuts out this little Santa hat and his nose and his mouth. So his mouth, of course, I think should be in red. I did cut out an additional piece here for his nose which is in pink and then this piece of course we've got the tree and then we've got this inset bit here these are all actually cut out of white so I've got the band for his hat the little um, puff ball for the end his mustache and his um, eyebrows then we've got his beard a bunch of little bits here so that we can decorate the tree and we have our our face the word Noel and a little star. So I'm going to just start off by putting the band and the ball on his hat. Go ahead and assemble his hat. And like I said, I've got all the bits here and I've actually got some of them cut out twice. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's going to add a little bit more dimension. I've got two layers of the band and then I've got two layers for the little snowball, puffball, pom-pom, whatever you want to call it, on the back end of his hat. So that's going to just add just a little bit more dimension on there. And that's probably one of the biggest differences between making your cards with die cuts and making your cards with the ephemera. The ephemera is going to be one layer and it's going to be a little thinner. And because we don't have the dies for those, we can't really do any of the layering like what I'm doing with this bit here. So it's going to feel a little bit different. But that doesn't mean you can't use foam tape, right? And it saves you the time of having to go through and create all of the embellishments like what I'm doing here. Okay, so his hat is all done. I'm going to go ahead and layer up his beard because I did cut out two pieces of that as well. And of course, these cardstock I'm using um, is not some of the heavy weight. So that may be one reason why everything's a little bit thinner in my mind. Okay, I'm going to do a double layer of his mustache. Okay, and next I'm going to put his little mouth on because the mouth needs to go right here in this slot here, right beneath his mustache. So add a little bit of glue here and then grab that little red bit. And that looks pretty good, but I do want his mouth to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to slide it down a little bit. 
and this is art glitter glue that I'm using as usual and it does dry matte so it's not going to be there's not going to be any of that white there once it does dry back okay so I think I'm going to go ahead and add his his face on And I wasn't 100% sure where the beard was going to line up when it comes to the sides. And it looks like it is actually lining up right with the edge of this die. So we just need it to be attached right there in the center with his beard. And now I'm going to hear his mustache and mouth on. Right about there and you can probably see that little bit of dimension there that the mustache is giving it and I'm gonna add his little nose <laughs> Santa is looking cute Okay, and now I'm going to add his hat right across the top here. And now we have a cute little Santa face. Now you could have used a darker pink for the nose and then it would stand out or use your markers to color that uh, up a little bit more. But I think I'm going to leave that one as is. Only other thing I need to add is a strip of, of color to go across the back of his eyes because those cut out a couple of little eyes there, right? I'm going to use a little strip of black cardstock from my, from my scrap bin. And just trim it back enough so it doesn't show from behind. And now Santa is all done. Awesome. Now we do have some options as to how we can add them to the card. Now you can be, oh, I almost forgot. I've got his little eyebrows. I need to put those on. Santa needs his eyebrows. Okay, so I think they are basically the same. Um, those two. Okay, I'm going to add this one first. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the top of it and add the second layer. You don't actually have to. But I figure since I'm doing that, I might as well make him have thick hair all around, right? Okay. And then do the same thing with the other side. And there is our cute little Santa. Yay. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and put together the trees. And then we can figure out what we want to do with the rest of the cart. Now, um, I think I'm probably going to go ahead and make two trees. I do have enough of the garland to go on there twice. So these guys are so small that, <laughs> yay, they're going to fit in my Xyron. Um, I only got the little ones. So um, I'm going to use these for these little guys because it's going to be a lot easier to adhere them down. Okay, 
that's enough, I think, for that. <laughs> I, did, I wasted a bunch because I was trying to get them actually lined up and to go in there because they're so, so, so small. Uh, I think I am going to add it on the back of my gold Noels, though. And again, these are just very, very th finicky and very thin. Very small. And I was probably just messing around with it too much. And that's the reason it took so long. Okay. So whenever you're using one of the Xyron machines, you do need to burnish around your die cut. The reason for that is sometimes you wind up with little um, adhesive little runners, I guess, little strings. And I don't really want those to cause me any issues. So... But this should take a lot less time than trying to add adhesive to the back of all of those little guys, you know? Especially if you know what you're doing and you've been practicing, which I have not. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add some of my little guys on. I'm taking off this bit. This plastic piece on top has got adhesive on the back of it entirely, so it's really sticky. And now I've got my little my little stickers here these are actually now little stickers so that is super awesome okay and you can see some of those little strings there i'm just going to try pulling some of those off not a big deal and go ahead and position my first string here okay and if it runs off the edge that is totally fine because i can just trim off any kind of excess okay add that one across right about here and then we have a couple of babies okay and that little one i'm gonna put right across the top right up here so we've got this little tree. I'm going to glue on the, the star up at the top. And put my weight on it. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to use the other adhesive. So the reason I was wanting to use my Xyron for a lot of this is that the mirror cardstock doesn't always like adhesive. So I'm um, using my art glitter glue means I have to give it a little bit more time to dry. While I'm waiting for that, I am going to go ahead and put a couple of tr extra trees that I'm going to put on the back of this together. Now, a I had a scrap of cardstock that had some of the double-sided adhesive from scrapbook.com already on it so i decided well i'll go ahead and use that to start and just layering up a second tree over the front just line that right on up okay and i think i'm just going to go four deep i do have another sheet of double-sided adhesive on this one so Let's go ahead and remove that, and then I can add that to my layers. And with this, you do need to line it all up the way you want it before you start pressing everything together. Okay, and then just need to add some liquid adhesive to the top of this one, and then I can add my green Christmas tree on top of that. These are some really, really easy dies to put together. I think that this is just darling. Okay, so now we have a tree that is a few layers thick. Press that down a little bit. Make sure it catches like it's supposed to. Okay, now I can go ahead and trim off that little bit of extra from my decorations. And I've got these little red and gold balls here you could also use nouveau drops um gems whatever you want for it but there is a die in the set that uh, included in the set so you can cut those out too so i'm going to just add a few of those kind of just random okay 
because this is kind of how I decorate my tree in real life anyway. You know, we don't really have a plan. We just kind of random um, put everything on there until we like the way it looks. There we go. So this little Christmas tree is done. So now I can start putting everything together for all, for both of these cards. I'm going to use the Holly Flourish for the background. This is the this is um an embossing folder. Don't recall if it is an embossing folder of the month. I don't think so, but I will leave a, a link down below for you guys for that one as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this panel down onto the card base directly using a dot liner adhesive for this. And this is white on white, so you've got that monochromatic, but you do have that little bit of texture back there. I think that's going to be pretty. And then I'm taking one of the frames. This is one of the chipboard pieces that was in the card kit of the month. I think that one would look really pretty behind my little tree. So I'm going to go ahead and tear that one down straight as well with some liquid glue. right dab in the center there okay so now i'll just take my release paper off and pop my little tree down and then i can set that to the side to dry while i put together my santa card okay there we go so i'll just put that one to the side so that that oval has time to dry so for Santa, what I'm going to do, I picked out one of the, again, chipboard frames and a piece from the Oh What Fun paper pack that comes in the kit. And I'm going to use that kind of as the background to go behind my little frame. So let me just trim that down a little bit. And then just adhere that to the back of my frame. Okay, that looks perfect. Awesome. I've also added some of the foam squares to the back of Santa's head. So I can just pop him right on down. Okay, and now I can just add Santa on there. <laughs> I think Santa's adorable. Okay, and then I picked out a sentiment that is one of the sentiments in the sentiment pack that's included in the kit. I believe these are in the kit. If not, it's one of the add-ons, and I will leave you um, all of the information about that down in the description. So I'm going to put a couple of foam dots on the back of this one as well to have it popped up. Actually, that one does not go there. This is going to go there. Okay. Because I want to kind of have it a little bit wonky. And if you'll notice, this you may not notice. Let me hold this up. This is a little bit thicker. The foam dots are thicker than the chipboard. So what I probably should have done is use some of my foam tape. But I'm going to go ahead and use a little strip of that across the top. To, um, basically, is going to adhere to the... To my frame and it'll even it up actually let me do two little bits because the part in the middle may not actually touch okay and first things first I'm going to test and make sure that it hits the way I want it to the foam adds dimension to this bit here to make it match a little bit more everything else and does go about flush so that is awesome now i'll go ahead and take the little pieces of release paper off and then just position my little feeling jolly right across there now i can adhere that to the front of a card base and i'm going to leave it at that this one is going to also be another clean and simple um, on the first, I did add that additional texture behind it, but I think this is going to still work just as well. There we go. 
and there are other bits and everything in with the ephemera so I haven't decided if I'm going to add anything additional to those. I'm going to think about that a little bit while everything dries and I work on my third card. So I also uh, kind of separated out all of the ephemera and put it into this bin that I never use because everything always slides underneath. But I figured this would be a good way to use it to kind of just separate everything out temporarily. There, stay popped in there. Okay, separate everything out temporarily while I start sorting through to see what I want to use. Now, while I was looking through all of the cute ephemera, I saw these little cute little gingerbread men. I've got a bunch of them. Look at these little guys. They are adorable. And then, of course, we've got the thickers that are a little bit smaller, but they are friggin' adorable. Okay, so I've got all of those, and then I've got these panels that came in. So this is basically your sentiment and focal point. We've got and two of each, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So that is twelve cards right there. I mean, come on. Um, anyway, what I think I'm going to use this time, and as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, you know, I could have done that with the tree, and I probably will with another point. I kind of the same kind of thought and design. Um, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these that say, may your holidays be filled with sweet surprises. And grab out a card base that I had put to the side. Okay. So I've got that. We've got that. And then I can add some of these <laughs> cuties to the front of it. And that right there is a card done. And this would be flat and easy to go through the mail. So let me go ahead and start up start start adhering that one together. This one is the quickest, easiest of the bunch. And I may just have to make some more <laughs> of these because they are so, they, if it wasn't so cute while being quick and easy, I wouldn't be happy with it. But the thing is, it is super cute. These images are adorable. So first adhesive on the back and then put that right in the center of my card base. Okay, so that is all centered, and then I can add my little guys here, and I think I'm going to use some thin foam on here, just to give them a little bit of dimension. Um, also, this is some thin cardstock, so you don't want to pop them up too much over the rest, unless you find a way to do a backing, which you could mount this onto some, um, some white. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and glue this guy down, and then I'm going to fussy cut around him. And that is going to give him a little bit more strength. And I'm going to do a second one, and I may do a third. I'm not decided 100% yet. And this way you can also add a little white line around the edge, just like you would if you were fussing out, fussy cutting out or die cutting out. A stamped image usually has that little white border around the edge and doesn't have to be perfect. And you'll notice as I'm fussy cutting, I'm turning the paper, not the scissors. It makes it a lot easier. And these scissors are also really nice because they also are kind of spring loaded. So you don't really have to put as much pressure. It's not as hard on your arms. Okay, so I'm going to have one of them up at the top. Actually, I want this one at the this one at the bottom. He's all excited. This one up at the top. And there's also a lot of other little yummy goodness in here too. Okay, so we've got different kinds of food. Oh my God, this one is just adorable too. Look at this little cup. <laughs> I've got an idea for a card with that one too. That is just adorable. But you could always add some additional things. So I think you got first I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys down with some of the foam. And then I'm gonna see what other additions I want to add to it. And I may even pick some of the chipboard pieces because there are some little yummy goodness things there too. Oh, those are darling. Okay, do I want to add any more of these little guys? I think I want to add those two. Now, actually, this pink cupcake there, that one I think would look really cute on here. 
Okay, put that right about there. Take my release paper off the backs. And now I can put my little gingerbread man down. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> sometimes the characters and sometimes the things that are in these kits, I just get so tickled over. I mean, you know? Oh, they are adorable. Okay, so that could be done. Do I want to add anything else to him? I think I'm going to add some of the sequins. There's also a set of sequins in this kit. Let me grab out another triangle tray. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of those across this, give it a little bit of extra shine because you can't go wrong with sequins, right? Okay, we've got a few little sequins up there. Looks a little bit more like a party, right? Add a couple of them right over here around his head. Think that'll be cute. So I think the little gingerbread men are having a party. Okay, and then I give this little guy some party sequence too. Okay. Probably I'm going a little bit overboard on the sequence, but you know what? That's totally fine. Okay. So that one is all done. One of the fun things with this set, um, with the gingerbreads especially, is that first you've got these little ephemera pieces, right? Then you've got the chipboard. Got some of those. Then we've got the stamp set. And sentiments that go along with it is, may your holidays be sprinkled with cheer. You are magical. Hope your Christmas is too. Merry everything. Happy always. Christmas wishes and gingerbread kisses. Oh my God, that one is too cute. Let's get excited. It's Christmas. Like I said, they look like they are having a party. So you've got everything to be able to basically recreate the same kind of card as many times as you want to, whether it is with the ephemera or and chipboard or your your stamps. That is totally cool. Okay, so let's take another quick look. Um, I think I'm going to leave this one without a sentiment. It looks just so pretty just as it is. So we've got our Christmas tree here, and we've got Santa, and then we've got some gingerbread cooked men. Oh my goodness, they are just stinking adorable. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas crafting time. <laughs> have a great day. If you want to see some more videos where I'm using Spellbinders products, check out the playlist. Check out the description down below for links to everything that I used in today's video. And you guys have a great, wonderful day. Remember, if I can make it, you can too. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.